Medley, Aquarius, let the sunshine in, the flesh failures commonly called, Aquarius, let the sunshine in, the age of Aquarius, or, let the sunshine in, is a medley of two songs written for the 1967 musical Hair by James Rado and Garam Ragney, lyrics, and Galt McDermott, music, released as a single by American R&B group The Fifth Dimension. The song peaked at number one for six weeks on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 Pop Singles Chart in the spring of 1969. The single topped the American pop charts and was eventually certified platinum in the U.S. by the RIAA. Instrumental backing was written by Bill Hallman and provided by session musicians commonly known as the Wrecking Crew. The actual recording is something of a rarity. The song was recorded in two cities, Los Angeles and Las Vegas, then mixed together in the studio. The song listed at number 66 on Billboard's Greatest Songs of All Time. Topic history The recording was helmed by veteran American producer and engineer Bones Howe, who had previously worked with The Fifth Dimension as well as The Mamas and The Papas and Elvis Presley. As Howe tells it, the recording can be traced to an incident in which Fifth Dimension lead singer Billy Davis Jr. left his wallet in a New York City cab. The man who found the wallet was involved in the production of Hair and invited the group to see the show. After they'd seen it I received a phone call in which they were all talking over one another, saying, We've got to cut this song, Aquarius. It's the best thing ever. Howe was skeptical, this isn't a complete song. It's an introduction, but after seeing the show on stage got the idea to create a medley with another musical moment from the show, a few bars from the song, The Flesh Failures, that consist of the repeated words, Let the Sunshine In, although the two song fragments are in different keys and tempos, how resolved to, jam them together like two trains. The instrumental track was set to tape at Wally Hyder Recording in Los Angeles by the Wrecking Crew rhythm section of Hal Blaine on drums, Joe Osborne on bass, Larry Nechtel on keyboards, and Tommy Tedesco on guitar along with guitarist Dennis Budimir. However, the vocals were recorded separately in Las Vegas, where the Fifth Dimension was performing at the time, using only two microphones for the five singers. Davis's solo during Let the Sunshine In was improvised during the session. Songwriter Jimmy Webb, who happened into the studio during the recording, remarked to Howe, My God, that's a number one record. This song was one of the most popular songs of 1969 worldwide, and in the United States it reached the number one position on both the Billboard Hot 100 for six weeks in April and May and the Billboard Easy Listening Chart. It also reached the top of the sales charts in Canada and elsewhere. Billboard ranked it as the number two Hot 100 single for 1969. The recording won both the Grammy Award for Record of the Year and Best Pop Vocal Performance by a group for the Grammy Awards of 1970, after being published on the album The Age of Aquarius by The Fifth Dimension, and also being released as a 7-inch vinyl single record. The lyrics of this song were based on the astrological belief that the world would soon be entering the Age of Aquarius, an age of love, light, and humanity, unlike the current Age of Pisces. The exact circumstances for the change are when the Moon is in the seventh house, and Jupiter aligns with Mars. This change was presumed to occur at the end of the 20th century, however, astrologers differ extremely widely as to when. Their proposed dates range from 2062 to 2680. Astrologer Neil Spencer denounced the lyrics as astrological gibberish, noting that Jupiter forms an astrological aspect with Mars several times a year and the Moon is in the seventh house for two hours every day. These lines are considered by many to be merely poetic license, though some people take them literally. The American Film Institute's 100 Years.100 Songs List, published in 2004, ranked Medley, Aquarius, Let the Sunshine in, The Flesh Failures, as number 33. Topic. Track listing of the single Topic. Charts Topic. Cover versions The crowd at the Woodstock Festival August 1969 sang the song the recording is featured on the double album Woodstock 2, released 1971. Donna Summer, then Donna Gaines, was cast in the German version of the musical singing the lead in Wasserman Aquarius, in 1968. 
Checkmates, Ltd. released a version of the song as part of the Hair Anthology Suite on their 1969 album, Love Is All We Have To Give. Ray Stevens recorded Aquarius for his 1969 studio album Have A Little Talk With Myself. Scylla Black recorded the song for her 1969 studio album Surround Yourself With Scylla. Engelbert Humperdinck recorded a cover of the song on his 1969 self-titled album. Andy Williams released a version in 1969 on his album, Get Together With Andy Williams. Mercy released a version of the song on their 1969 album, Love Can Make You Happy. Diana Ross recorded a cover on The Supremes' 1969 Let the Sunshine In album but, without The Supremes, it was a solo recording sung on the Dinah Shore television special 1969 with background vocalists from the television special. The instrumental band The Ventures covered the medley on their 1969 album Hawaii 5 Aquarius, Let the Sunshine In, was also covered by the Osmonds on the 1970 album, Hello. The Osmond Brothers. The Undisputed Truth recorded a version called Aquarius for their 1971 self-titled LP. Charles Erland, a jazz Hammond organ player, recorded a version of this song in his album Black Talk. George Shearing, a piano player, recorded a version of the song in 1974 on the album The Way We Are. Ren Wood sang the song in the opening scene of the 1979 film adaption of the play. A soundtrack album was subsequently released, which featured her version as the first track on the A-side. Pop Gabber Dutch band Party Animals covered Aquarius on their debut album Good Vibrations in 1996. The single was certified platinum and peaked at the number one position for three weeks. A cover of the medley was recorded for the Killdozer, Alice Donut split single, Michael Gerald's Party Machine, Presents, released in 1996. It was credited to Kill Donut, a one-off band consisting of members of both bands. The lyrics, Let the Sunshine In, from the song, Aquarius, Let the Sunshine In, are sampled in One More Time, The Sunshine Song by Australian electronic artist Groove Terminator. The Let the Sunshine In portion of the medley was covered by Swedish dance group Army of Lovers on their 2000 album La Grande Docu Soap. Their version also included most of the original verses with some changes performed as a pseudo-rap by group member Dominika Pezinski. Lightspeed Champion covered the song on his Domino Records special edition covers EP. The track is listed as the Flesh Failures. Star Academy Arab World Season 1 finalist students covered the song and made it as their first single, known as J. Al Hakika. Spencer Davis Group single Aquarius der Wasserman B. W. Let the Sunshine In was released because Davis studied German in college and found tour audiences there so appreciative, he decided to honor their support with a version of this pop hit in German. The German krautrock, progressive rock band Geronimo on their 1970 album Cosmic Blues. Brian Auger, Julie Driscoll and the Trinity recorded this song on their album Street Noise Brian Auger and the Trinity 1969. The Austrian singer Marianne Ment recorded a German-language version of Aquarius about the city of Vienna in 1970 named Der Wasserkopf Aquarius. The Chopsticks, a Hong Kong female duo, made up of Sandra Lang, Xian Dula and Amina, Yame Na covered this medley song on their 1971 LP All of a Sudden. Jackie Davis released a cover of Aquarius under his moniker, Chico Arnaz. The track, Chico Arnaz, Aquarius, features on his album New Sounds of Chico Arnaz, released on Contour Records in 1972. Hans Zimmer recorded a cover version for the introductory section to the 1990 movie Bird on a Wire, listed on the soundtrack as Aquarius. The cast of the 2005 film The 40-Year-Old Virgin covered the song for the ending of the film. The Let the Sunshine In portion of this medley was covered by Lisa Cool and the South Spirit for the rhythm dance game Pump It Up, The Prex 3. Let the Sun Shine, an Ibiza-inspired remake of the Let the Sunshine In portion of this medley was released by the German house music duo Milk and Sugar in 2003. 
In 2009, they released a remix featuring Jamaican vocalist Gary Pine and Bob Sinclair entitled Let the Sunshine 2009. Adern, a Spanish singer, recorded Aquarius for her album premiere album. Les Poppies, a French musical group of 17 children, recorded Les Entrées Le Soleil, Let the Sun Shine In, a French-English cover of Let the Sun Shine In, in 1971 for their first album called Poppies. Digital Daggers recorded a cover that was featured on the television show Star Crossed, and appeared on their album Reimaginations, Volume 1. The Forest Rangers covered the song and it was played during the last few minutes of Sons of Anarchy Season 7 Episode 5. Mike Doughty interpolated the Let the Sunshine In portion for his song Fort Hood off of his album Golden Delicious. Shannon Meyer covered the song on his 2003 album On the Failure of Science to Understand My Spirit. Kanye West produced the song Sunshine for Mos Def's second album The New Danger 2004, employing the Let the Sunshine In portion throughout the song. In popular culture From 1970 to 77, Aquarius was used as the theme song to the British arts program Aquarius. In 1970, Let the Sunshine In was used in an ad council PSA for the National Urban Coalition. The commercial promoted racial harmony using a large all star choir, including cameos by Ray Charles, Peggy Cass, Johnny Carson, Will Gear, and Leonard Nimoy. Let the Sunshine In has been adopted by soccer fans in Argentina and popularized in Uruguay's Soy Celeste to proclaim their support. Peter Lawford sang the song Aquarius. In the Hollywood Palace in November 1969. The song appears as part of the Forrest Gump soundtrack along with other songs from the 1994 film. The song also appeared in Episode 3, Harmony of the Worlds, of Carl Sagan's Cosmos during a sequence debunking the practice of astrology, in Episode 16, Season 3 of The Simpsons, Bart the Lover, Age of Aquarius is played during a yo-yo demonstration at a school assembly. The song appeared at the end of the 2001 movie Recess, School's Out. The song also appeared at the end of the 2005 movie The 40-Year-Old Virgin. They Might Be Giants make reference to Age of Aquarius in the song Cage and Aquarium, taken from the album Lincoln. A sample of the song as it appears in the film Hair carries the main loop of the Boards of Canada song of the same name, appearing on their debut LP. The beginning of the song is heard during a flashback at the start of Episode 2 of American Horror Story Season 1, Murder House. The song is featured in Just Dance 2014. Topic. See also. List of Billboard Hot 100 No. 1 Singles of 1969 List of recordings of songs Hal Blaine has played on